Hello, this is the second part for our dilation and scale factor lesson. As you can probably guess, we're going to eventually look at graphs as well when we're talking about our scale factor. Let's go ahead and start this lesson. First thing is the center of dilation. The center of dilation we talked about in part one has is the point that the dilation goes through. It can be placed anywhere. All of the examples that we've shown, we've placed it on the outside of the figure. And I'll show you some more examples of that. But here's one where we have the center of dilation out here. What we would do is draw a line from all the vertices through that center of dilation. Now, the, this is our pre-image, the green figure here. The image that we would have could pretty much go anywhere as long as it's touching those four places. So again, it's going to look very much like this. It's going to have all of the, it's going to be proportional to the pre-image, but it can go pretty much along there. So it can be small, it can be pretty large. Um, those on the opposite side of the center of dilation, as we talked about in part one, would be negative scale factors. This would be a positive scale factor. If it's smaller than the pre-image, it would be a fraction. Um, if it's larger than the pre-image, it'll be a number greater than one, um, the absolute value of a number greater than one. All right, so let's talk about the places where a center of dilation can be put. First off is outside the figure. We've talked about this. Um, it's every example that we've used for all of part one and part two so far has had the center of dilation outside of the figure. Here's an example where we have an octagon here, the center of dilation here, and the second octagon here. So actually the green one we've been using as our pre-image. So this would be a negative um, scale factor because it's on the opposite side of the, the center of dilation. And it's larger than the pre-image. So it would be a negative number great, um, less than negative one, meaning that the number itself is actually bigger than one. So the number, the absolute value of the scale factor is greater than 1. So the number is bigger than 1, only it's negative. All right. The second place that you could put a center of dilation would actually be inside the figure. It's often in the center, but it can be placed other places. So here's an example of one where it's right in the center. So as you see the, the figure here, the pre-image is the green, and then the image would be the, the yellow one. And it's just shrunk, but shrunk right down into the center. Now you can have it shrink off to the side, not in the center. That can happen, and that's fine. But in most cases, if it's going to be inside the figure, it'll oftentimes be in the center. Not always the case, though. You can, you can basically put a center dilation anywhere inside the figure that you want. So the first one is outside the figure. The second one is inside the figure. Where's the third possible place it could go? On the edge of the figure. So it can be inside, outside, or actually along the edge. Usually, again, when, with the, or the center of dilation, it is usually on a vertex like this. You've probably seen a picture similar to this. The center of dilation would have been this vertex here and it's just shrinking down to that vertex. However, it could be on the side. And if it's on the side, it would kind of shrink down towards that center of dilation. So this one here, the pre-image, is actually smaller. And that's fine. Center of dilation is there. When it gets bigger, it goes out like that. That's absolutely fine to do. We could, we could switch the, the colors up you know, back and forth. But those are the three places. So inside the figure, outside the figure, or on the edge of the figure. Now we're going to move on to graphs. When we're talking about graphs, what you're going to do is get a question usually like this. Draw the image, triangle ABC is under a factor of negative 2. And the center of dilation is 1, 2. So what they'll do is they'll give you a center of dilation, give you the coordinates of triangle ABC, or just put a triangle on there. And then you will have to go ahead and draw the image. So this will be your pre-image. You're going to draw a new image. To do that, again, you start at the vertices and draw those lines through the image or through the center of dilation. All right. Because it's a negative scale factor, 
scale factor of negative 2, we know that it's going to be on the opposite side of the center of dilation. So we don't have to draw the lines out this direction. If it were a large positive number, then we would want to draw the lines kind of going out in this direction. Because if it's positive, it's on the same side of the center of dilation. But it's on the opposite side of the center of dilation because it's a negative number. And because it's the number 2, this is important because this is, this is the part that's a little bit challenging. What you do is you look at the center of dilation and you pick each point. So I'm going to pick this point here. It is one unit to the right of the center of dilation. See that? My x value, this is on 1, 2. So my x value is one place over. So I'm going to go two times that number farther in the opposite direction. So instead of going one to the right, I'm going to go one, two to the left. And then what I'm also going to do is I know that this is down one place. So I'm going to go opposite that, one, two. So basically, the factor of two means that each point is two times farther from the center of dilation in both directions. So this one here is pretty far away. It's, let's see, one, two, three x values away. So this one would be six x values from the center of dilation. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It will be way out there. Actually, I, I started doing this one. It's also six. And then this one here is down one, so it's going to be up two, one, two. So it's the opposite because it's negative, and then it is um, two times that amount because it's a factor of negative two. Hope that that's making a little bit of sense. And then let's go to our final point here again. It's going to line up with this one, and it is one, two, three points above. So we're going to go three points below the center of dilation. One, two, three, four, five, six, because we double it. So it's going to be down there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you could draw the triangle in there of what your image is going to be. So pre-image, center of dilation, image. And the scale factor on this is negative 2. Now, when you have a center of dilation at the origin, this is really great because that means you don't need to draw a graph. All you need to do is multiply because it's, it's centered around 0, 0. The center of dilation is 0, 0 at the origin. So all you have to do is multiply. Let me show you an example. Triangle ABC has the points 1, 2, 2, 3, and 2, 2. Dilate with a scale factor of positive 2. All that does is multiply each number times 2. If it's a negative number, you multiply it times the negative. That's it. So here we go. A is 1, 2. So A prime would be 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Next one, 2, 3. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6. Point C, 2, 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4. That's it. And so our new triangle is 2, 4, 4, 6, 4, 4. Because it's the center of dilations at the origin, all you have to do is multiply by the scale factor. That's all you do. If the scale factor is negative, you multiply times a negative. If it's positive, you multiply times a positive. That's it. It's really, really, really that simple. Now, I know that there's some skeptics out there who don't believe me. So I'll go ahead and show you using a graph. So here's our original triangle at the point 1, 2, 2, 2, and 2, 3. And I'm going to draw the dots here that I have indicated to 4, 4, 4, and 4, 6 because those are the dots that are indicated by the, the next points here. Now, I'm going to draw that triangle in there. So there's our pre-image and there's our image up here. And to check my work, I'm going to draw the lines through the origin of 0, 0 and check and see whether that works. So this one here is one place away from the origin and it becomes two places. The corresponding point right there becomes two places. Look at that. This one is one two places along the x-axis. This one that corresponds with it is four places. You can do that with the x values or the y values. It works out perfectly. So if you doubted, there's the proof to kind of show that that works. If, you're, if you have the center of dilation at the origin, it's the easiest thing to do. It's really nice. You just multiply by the scale factor. And that 
is everything. Oh, by the way, if you multiply by a negative, it would be down here. It would cross over and it would work out perfectly. So positive, negative, fractions, um, increasing, decreasing, all of that stuff um, will all work. All right? And that is about all there is with this part two on scale factor and dilation.